We're here at Long Island City at Five Points, uh, the world's largest legal aerosol outlet, and uh, beautiful day. Five Points was uh, was created in 2002. It was formerly an organization called Fun Factory, which had closed for about eight months. Uh, at the point where I took over, the building was covered with tags and, and uh, throw-ups. The name Five Points uh, signifies five boroughs coming to one epicenter to create graffiti art. Five Points is only the exterior of the building. We're like an inside out kind of art exhibit space slash museum or whatever you like to call it. We, we pretty much do all our stuff on the outside. What, what does it say? It's in the ears. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. Right. And the whole like concept is that you know, fire marshal bill, you know, more of a fire maniac in a weird sense because he's supposed to be a, a you know, fire marshal and he's like, he must on fire and he's kind of setting city on fire and it, it's ironic because like a wild style with, you know, several colors is called a burner mm. so it, it kind of ties in to the same. That's uh, crazy. Yeah. That was done at an event called The Meeting of Styles by an artist from Russia. He did a bear and what I like about it is that, that spot is such an out of, the, out of the way kind of small spot but yet he utilized that, that spot and put the bear there and, and it works so perfectly. This piece is done by an artist uh, collaboration of C1TF crew and uh, Cortez. They, uh, they decided they wanted to pay homage to uh, Amy Winehouse, the artist that passed away. Mm. So he did Amy Winehouse with some of the lyrics of her song and uh, I guess the demons, you know, her demons or whatever. Okay. And uh, pretty cool. P-Rock came and I, I, didn't, I wasn't here when he came, so uh, I haven't gotten a hold of Marla to see if that was the case or not. But you know, a lot of artists like pay homage to, to you know, hip hop figures that, that mean something to them. We got a Nas on the building, we got a Biggie. Um, right. You know, so it's pretty cool. This is done by a French artist named Maniac. Uh, he does, this is what we call a three-dimensional piece. It's like a piece of no outline. He he paid homage to a, a underground MC, Sean Price, um, which is cool, man. I like the fact that he took someone not so in the major limelight and, and, and paid homage to him. That's pretty fresh. This is a uh, this wall was done by these two artists from Spain, um, and it's kind of cool. It's like the, the 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 New York, the quintessential like New York city scene taxi uh, wall that every tourist wants to get a photo in front of it. It's photorealism. It's uh, done to look like the, you know the cars are coming right off the wall. Um, pretty cool piece. Sorry, this wall is done by Zesso. Uh, basically. He had the idea to do a jungle scene and compiled all of these different uh, references. He asked me to get on air, which I'm honored because I did minimal. I did this my piece in the in the uh, scene. It's a 3D piece. It's my third three-dimensional piece I've ever done. So uh, you know, it's pretty fun. It's, it's a little more challenging to me to do like a 3D as, as to do a traditional style. Um, and I, you know, I'm working on it. Uh, one of the, the, the special things of Five Points, and, and I, I only see it as it could only be one way, is uh, there is no charge for the permits. When artists come to paint, it, it is a free uh, experience. Um, we actually even lend them our, our supplies, like ladders and stuff. Um, I don't feel like an artist should pay or, you know, this, this building is special because of the artist giving their soul on the wall and giving a piece of themselves. So to charge that artist to paint on the wall is, is kind of, you know, it's just not possible, you know. Um, it has to be a free experience. It has to be. It's their way of giving back to us for allowing them to use our walls. They're blessing us with, with their piece of artwork. I like this sentimental. Do it again.